hi all welcome to salesforce ultimate guide channel in this video i'm going to explain about the fourth trigger scenario so as we keep on doing more scenarios related to triggers we will be becoming good with the apex writing apex triggers the fourth scenario is create a trigger on account object to assign the annual revenue value as below industry name annual revenue industry name banking 50 lakhs finance 40 lakhs insurance 35 lakhs healthcare 25 lakhs else 55 lakhs so we uh, what is the meaning of this so if let us say that if we have chosen this particular any of the five any of the four industries we have to give the annual we have to pre store the annual revenue as 50 lakh 40 lakh 35 lakh 25 lakh Okay, so if we see it from the UI end, if we go and create any of the new account, let us say, okay, now I will test 31. I'm going to give the account name as this. I am choosing the bank. Uh, industry and banking yeah. Yeah, right now the if we see the annual revenue field there is no uh, value in this okay but we if we want to automatically store some annual revenue field we have to write one trigger on this so first we should think whether it is before trigger or after trigger since uh, we are working on the account object and we need to make changes on the account object only this is before trigger so we will start with writing the trigger let me see if any active work triggers are there. File new Apex trigger. Account trigger example four on the object account. Okay. So when we should do the operation before insert or before update. Okay. Le let me check the condition first. If trigger dot each before and figure dot is insert or figure dot is update in these conditions we can check the we can make our trigger to work okay so first we'll start with for loop what is the object name it's account object looping variable acc and then the list which we need to enter it is trigger dot new then first let us say there are like around four to five conditions so we can use if else if else if else if so loops here conditions so first we will start with if condition if acc the looping variable dot industry is equal to equal to banking then acc dot annual revenue we are going to store it as 50 lakhs okay. let's say that if this condition don't match then we have the else if acc dot industry is equal to finance if it matches with finance then acc dot 
annual revenue is going to be 40 lakhs. Else, if, if this condition don't match, see dot industry is equal to insurance. This is dot annual revenue. equal to 35 lakhs. If this condition match, again check with else if ACC dot industry is equal to equal to healthcare. Then ACC dot annual revenue is going to be Fifty-five lakh. No, no, sir. Sorry, healthcare is twenty-five lakh. <clears throat> Else, if for any of the condition don't match, we are just going to store SCC dot annual revenue as equal to five lakhs. Okay. So now I'm going to. Test it in the UI. <clears throat> I'm going to create a new record with name test 32. I'm now I'm now I'm going to select the industry as first one as banking. Right now I am not storing anyone any annual revenue. If we go to the details, yeah, we can see that banking annual revenue is 50 lakhs. Let me let let us convert it to finance. So if the industry the industry is finance, I'm not I'm not changing making any change in the annual revenue, but it will get automatically updated to 40 lakhs. If banking industry if the account industry is insurance, then we should have 35 lakhs. Yeah, it got updated to 35 lakhs instead of insurance if we have healthcare then we have 25 lakhs uh, if apart from all these four industry if you have any selected any of the other industry let's say hospitality hospitality then the annual revenue is going to be five lakhs okay so this is the working of this particular trigger scenario uh, for, I will uh, explain the triggers once once more. The condition is create a trigger on account object to assign the annual revenue value as below industry name as annual revenue, banking 50 lakh, finance 40 lakh, insurance 35 lakh, healthcare 25 lakh, else 55 lakh. So I'm going to write the trigger name as account trigger example 4 on account. We are going to make it work in before insert and before update conditions. First time checking whether it is before insert or before update. <clears throat> that condition matches <clears throat> then for i'm going to iterate through all the new account records or updated updated records or uh, new insert rate records then uh, first we i'm going to check about the uh, industry if it matches with banking store it as 50 lakh annual revenue banking is industry is finance then 40 lakh if it is insurance 35 lakh if it is healthcare 25 lakh else it will be stored as Five lakh. So this uh, trigger was so much simple. Uh, so I think you guys have understood this. Thank you so much.